everyone, Adam here and I'm very excited because I got a new amp and it's the Kraken Mark II from the Victory Amplifiers. So the Kraken has been a dream of mine well before the release of the Mark II. But back then when I was choosing my first amp, I was mainly considering the ones with the load box built in and I went with the Rev G20 in the end. Shortly afterwards I got the Oxbox anyway. So when they released the Mark II of the Kraken, I knew I have to get it because it, it was that was my vibe, my kind of amp or my kind of tone that I'm going for. The music at, in the intro of this video that you heard, that's the intro for my new song or my second song that I'm working on. And I, I think it, it hits or fits the vibe perfectly. Actually, since the amp arrived, only a couple of days have passed and I almost finished writing of, of that song. It's almost done, I only need to come up with uh, some ending for the solo, but that's it. Like, it, it was just really exciting me and uh, yeah, I, the, the song was written very, very fast. But it wasn't only because of the new amp, it was also because most of the song I already had here for quite some time. Uh, I believe it was two or three years and it's such a great feeling to finally hear it, like actually hear it, actually record it and then hear it how it sounds with drums and bass and everything and it's really awesome. So I'm, I'm very excited about that song. I had to pause my work on the first song in order to finish this one and I'm not sure which one will be released first but I guess I will be mixing and mastering uh, and doing some production for both of them kinda at the same time. I'll be switching uh, back and forth and yeah, uh, we will see. But anyway, the Kraken Mark II is awesome amp. It has the clean channel, it has the gain one, gain two channels, it has a presence knob and it covers everything that I need and everything that I ever wanted so I'm, I'm truly excited. I wanted to mention a couple of things that I learned from recording of my first song. So in the previous video I mentioned that I don't want to record a DI track uh, for the rhythm guitars because I want to tie myself into one tone and I don't want to have the option to reamp it or change the tone in the future and I didn't even record it the DI for the main uh, solo or the solo with the gain and now I see it as a mistake. Uh, as I have learned later while working on the song, when, when, you record, when you are recording guitars with gain and some effects like delay and reverb, it's almost impossible to work with the, with the signal, with the track that you recorded. If you need to do some cleanup and, and correct some things, it's, it's almost impossible because there is just this very compressed sound wave and there's really not much room to, to, to do with it. And then when I recorded another lead part and some other parts 
with the DI signal it was much it was much easier to to work with it so from now on every time I'm recording something I will be recording it with the DI track as well but not for the purpose of having the option of changing the tone later in the future but purely because it's easier and it's possible to, to cor correct it, to, to clean it and yeah, to, to make it better, to simply improve it. And then I can reamp it with the identical tone. So that's, that's one lesson uh, for me. When I started recording the first song, I thought that the song is finished, like from the songwriting point of view, and I only need to record it. But as I w started working with the song, I, I realized that, hey, maybe this part uh, could be better in, if I change this and change that. And I ended up uh, fixing even the time signatures because I made some mistake. Basically, even when I get to the phase of the recording of the song, that doesn't mean that the song is finished and there is still room for some changes if it makes the song better. As a bonus point, I was a bit struggling with a noise, especially when recording high gain guitars with a tube screamer and someone in the comments asked me why don't you use a noise gate? And to be honest, I, I don't know, I, I guess I was just too lazy to take it out and put it into the signal chain but actually it makes a huge difference and it can really improve the quality of life when recording. In any case this is the third episode of my home studio recording series so subscribe if you aren't already so that you don't miss any episodes in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.